Hi everyone. Um, I am super excited because my backpacking trip around the world to create art is just around the corner. And so, how does one travel go backpacking around the world as an artist? I've come up with, after a lot of trial and error, may I add, I've come up with a solution that I think is the best for me at the, moment, at the time being, but if you have any suggestions, anything that could help me out, make this trip even better and easier for me, please, please comment. And if you have questions and anything I might help you with, don't hesitate to ask as well. And also, click that subscribe button. So, here, here goes. First off, I'm going to bring some canvas, some raw canvas. Uh, I know I can probably buy some in most countries, but I like to always have at least some on me so that I can, if I get inspired right away, I can I have something to work with. And if I don't find an art supply store for a week or two, well, at least I have something to, to, to begin. How am I going to stretch that while I'm traveling? Here's what I came up with. So, I got these, uh, and these pieces of interlockable wood. They interlock and they can, you can make your stretchers with them. So I was thinking I might interlock them, stretch my canvas, take out the staples after I'm done, and then when I have a few, I ship them to myself. Rolled up if they don't have texture. If they have texture, I'm going to have to send them to myself flat. And then I'm going to be reusing these over and over. I bought these at Omar de Sal, but you can probably find them at most art supply stores. So, I bought four pieces of 20 inch uh, frames and four pieces of 30 inch frames. This allows me to make four, three different sizes of canvas, of stretchers 30 by 30, 20 by 20, and 20 by 30. So that gives me some variety. Uh, also, I bought a portable easel. Not too heavy. Okay, my paint. Always painting with golden acrylics. It's my favorite um, paint. I love the pigment color. And it's, it's intensity. I love the texture of it. This is, I, I'm fussy about my paint and this is my, my favorite. Um, so I have my paints. I have my primary colors and a bit uh, extra white. And then I have um, some thick uh, matte gel medium, which I use when I add textures. Same thing with the gesso. Uh, I could put the gesso on there beforehand. Um, this time around, I'm going to bring it separately. I'm going to put my paints and my gesso in here together in this pocket right here. And I have a few uh, smaller tubes of colors that I, I like to have, extra colors, um, that are to save time on color mixing. So there's a few of those colors. Um, maybe I'll make a video um, about which colors I use soon. Um, my favorite brushes. I took the shorter ones. Uh, you could always cut them if they're too long. It's easier to carry when they're shorter. My favorite spatulas and my palette knives and my larger brush for putting my primer, my gesso on there, or doing my backgrounds. What I have here, this is my bathroom bag, toothbrush, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, all that. This here is, is going to carry my electronic stuff, um, my chargers, my webcam, microphone. For the clothes, I love these bags. I bought these, they are Osprey bags. I love them because they have different colors. So I'm going to use them like the little drawers in the dresser. Uh, and here, in the larger one, I have my pants, my, shoes, my uh, all my bottoms, PJs, and sundresses. The blue one has my underwear and bikini. Yay! And in this one here, I'm going to have all my tops. Also, what's interesting about these bags is they have a pocket for the clothes in the bag. And they have a pocket in the front. Can you see? Which, which is made with a net that I can put my dirty laundry in. So it helps keep everything organized in my pack. 
So I am loving these. Yay. Next. A hammock. What if I get stuck outside and I need to sleep on something? I have my hammock, or I might just use it to lay by a beach and get inspired by the sound of the ocean. Who knows? Um, but it's nice to have a hammock on travel. Yee, this is important. In some countries, I might need a mosquito net if I don't want to get um, dangerous bites from dangerous beasts. <laughs> well, uh, a water bag, which I will put, there's a special place for it right in the back of my pack. This one is also O spray, 2.5 liter. So if I go for a long trek or I have this water, I can carry it with me. A sleeping bag, um, uh, and it goes down to 7 degrees Celsius, or 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm going to mostly warm places, so I doubt I'll go all the way down to seven degrees, but it's good to know that um, it'll keep me warm. I have a raincoat in case I get stuck and it starts raining. Patagonia raincoat. Footwear. <laughs> Footwear is going to be very, very important to me because I'm going to be wearing this almost 50 pound pack on my back. Um, and who knows sometimes how long I'm going to be stuck with it on my back, so it's good to make sure my feet are comfortable. I have uh, Morel shoes. Oh, there was sand in there. Ha! Morel shoes. More sand. Uh, they are waterproof. And these Echo sandals, for when it's warmer, um, super comfortable as well. Okay, let me show you how I have decided after organizing and reorganizing it about 15 times, how I have decided to fit all of this into here. Okay, so weight distribution is key here. I don't want to hurt my back or my hips or any of myself for that matter. Uh, but there's an, a way to place things in your pack and it's really important to know how you're distributing the weight. So the weight should be centered towards the middle or upper part, but not too much at the bottom because that would be hurt, hurting your lower back and your hips and not too high because that will make your pack super wobbly. So, um, I will be opening this bottom pocket in my pack right here. And there's a flat, oh, I forgot to talk, tell you about this. That was hiding in my pack. It's a travel towel that is super Thin, but super absorbent. This one is a beach size, so I will be using it when I go to the beach or and when I take my shower. It dries super fast and it's really easy to wash into like a sink or something. Okay, so open the bottom of the pack and there's this flap here that I can choose to close or leave it open. In this case, I will leave it, um, I will close it and I'm going to put my Pants, the bigger bag of clothes here at the bottom. Probably isn't too heavy, so it's going to be a perfect spot for it. Keep my lower back too, not too heavy. Then, um, inside of my bag, the main part of my bag, first of all, I have a pocket here, which is made especially to put my water bag in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my, my water bag in, slip it right there. And there's a clip here, a little clip to keep it in place so that it doesn't all bunch up at the bottom of the pack. It keeps it nice and steady in there. And when I'm thirsty and I want to drink, oh, there's a little hole right here. I can take a tube out and drink water. I'll hide some beer in there. I'm just kidding. Okay, so I have my water. Next, I will be putting, slipping my laptop right here. I'll do it right now because I'm using it to do this video. I'm going to slip my laptop right here and over my laptop. I'm going to put the towel to keep it a uh, bit of uh, cushion between it and my art supplies. So this was one issue I had. I didn't want to put my art supplies in the middle of the pack because it made it 
complicated to get my art stuff if I wanted to, do, to paint in public. But um, turns out it really is the best solution because of the weight. It's the heaviest part of my pack, and it's better to be centered and closer to my back, my wheels on my back. So it's going to go right there. On top of it, I will put my two other bag of clothing here and here. It leaves some decent space in there. Now I could just close it up like this and make it smaller if I wanted. Um, but I am going to be using the stop part, which could be removed if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it on because I think it's really practical. I'm going to close it. On the lower part of it, I will be putting my bathroom stuff. The reason I'm putting it there is if a bottle of shampoo or something explodes, it doesn't go and get mixed into my pack, and it's, there's nothing under it, under it in this part that it can spill in onto. So that's really the best spot for it. And on the other part here, I'm going to put my electronic stuff. Like this. Okay. Next, on the one of the side pockets that I have right here, I'm going to put my hammock and my mosquito net. The other side, I'll be using to put my shoes or my sandals, either or, on however, however I feel. Let's just say I'm wearing my shoes today. Slipping my sandals right here. here in front. Yay! Looking good. Um, my raincoat. Slip it into this front part of my pack right here so that it's easy to access if I get rained on really quick. I know where to go get it. These, um, these 30 inch pieces of wood, I'm going to be using the canvas to wrap around the ends so that the interlock, interlockable parts don't get cracked along the way. So now where I'm going to put these? My pack is pretty full, right? So straps on the side. I'm going to slip one part, this one here, on one side of my pack. On the other side, well, I'm going to put it this here. Same, same idea. That's my back. Let's give it a try. Right over the hip bones is where it should be. So that's pretty much right. This here should be about two millimeter, two, two centimeters under your collarbone at the center here. Taking this I'm good to go. Not too wobbly. Yay! I'm so excited. So I'm going to look like a soldier when I'm done with this trip. 50 pounds on my back all along. Anyways, um, so that's what I've got done for now. If you have any suggestions to make this better or easier, or if you have any questions, like I said earlier, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, click Subscribe so you can follow me around the world and on all these crazy adventures and all those artworks I'll be creating. And um, I can't wait. See you soon. Mwah.